Hi guys, welcome back to Style Novice. I can't wait to share with you this tutorial today. It's going to be one of the cutest projects I've made so far. It is much easier to make than it may seem for beginner sewers. Plus, you're going to love the practicality of it. It is a DIY padded jewellery travel pouch. So inside this little pouch here, it opens up to a much larger item. It's got individual pockets so you can put your rings, your earrings, your necklaces, your watches. All in individual pockets, easy to find, nothing gets tangled, nothing gets strung together, nothing gets knotted, and you can easily find everything. It all folds together into this tidy little pouch that you can chuck on the go to take all your items away on holiday with you. So, if you'd like to find out how to make your own, keep watching for the tutorial. Make your DIY travel jewellery pouch, you will need two types of cotton fabrics, I'd suggest using one dark and one light, and from each of these fabrics you will need one 16.5cm radius circle and one 12cm radius circle. You'll also need a small piece of Dacron padding cut into a 4cm radius circle and one metre of thin satin rope. To start, take your Dacron circle and the smallest dark fabric circle. Mark the centre point on each of these. Pin the Dacron circle to the centre of the back side of the dark circle. Sew around the padding as close to the edge as possible. Then, Dacron side down, place your circle on your tabletop. Take the smallest of your light coloured circles and place this on top, good side facing down. Securely pin around the edge and sew using your footer as a seam allowance. Leave a small opening which we can then use to turn the circle the right way out. Before you do, go around your outer edge of the circle and make small cuts with your scissors on an angle just up to the edge of the sew line. Turn your circle the right way out and use a pen, chopstick or whatever you have handy to push all the edges out. The small cuts we made will help the circle keep its shape better when turned out. Fold in the small raw edge and pin in place. Sew around the outside edge of this entire circle as close to the edge as possible. Next, take your two large circles and do the same. Pin good sides together and sew around the edge, leaving a gap. Make tiny cuts to the perimeter, turn out and sew around the outer edge, closing the small gap in the process. Place your large circle on your tabletop, dark side down. Place your smaller circle on top of this, dark side up. Do a quick measure to ensure you have in fact centred it nicely on the larger circle. From the outside edge of your Dacron padding to the outside edge of your smallest circle, draw four lines to create eight equal wedge shapes. Sew along these drawn lines only, not entering the centre circle and not going beyond the edge of the small circle. These small wedge shapes we have made create small pockets for individual items such as earrings or necklaces that we don't want to tangle during travel. We then want to sew around the outside edge of the dark circle, but not into the small dark circle, just on the outer edge of it on our lighter coloured fabric. Next, sew another circle around the perimeter around 1.5cm away from the previous line. This will create a channel into which we're going to thread our satin rope. On the outside of your pouch, the largest dark circle, pinch the channel fabric between your fingers so that you're holding only the top dark colour. Make a small cut across the channel at this point, and another about a finger width to the right. This creates two simple openings to thread our rope through. Take something like a safety pin and attach this to your rope. Gently guide your safety pin through the channel using your finger until it reaches the next snip mark. And you're just about finished, simply pull the pouch together using the two new rope ends and tie a small knot at each end of the rope so it can't pull through. Gather up the ends and you have a lovely padded bottom to the pouch to place larger necklaces and small individual pockets for your smaller items. So 
So that is it for today's DIY tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed making this padded jewellery travel pouch with me. As always, the step-by-step -step and written instructions are available to view on my blog by following the attached links. Plus, don't forget that I love to hear from you guys, so leave me a comment below letting me know if you made this pouch. Send me pictures, you can email me, you can Facebook me, whatever you may like. I love to see what you guys are up to as well. So don't forget to comment or message me and I will see you next week. Bye!